So this is the last poem I, will, I wrote in this book. Um, it was a very bizarre thing. I don't know if anyone knows about the Right Bloody Book Contest, but like they have you submit like a, a selection of your book. And then if they like you, then they have you submit the entire book. And there's a little bit of a, like a waiting period between those things. And two days before the final like, draft of this manuscript was due like, to, to try and win or whatever, um, my uncle died with this really horrific death of, um, he, he had hepatitis from a former like, heroin addiction and he was like, vomiting blood everywhere because he was drinking himself to death. If you were ever wondering, wondering what uh, liver death looks like, it's, it's ugly. Um, <laughs> but anyways, this is the elegy I wrote. Uh, uh, right after my uncle died, slash right before uh, the, the manuscript was due. Um, aporia, which is, an aporia is when you don't know what to say or where to begin. When the conservative lines of a sleeveless funeral dress shifted in the stick of a July morning to reveal a map, needled into my shoulders a cartography of home my father asked me why. I didn't love the body gifted me by God, and by God I believe he meant himself. Because it was his brother in the casket, and I can recognize the, a man whose mouth has been hijacked by the image of the liver death he's campaigned against with two decades of sobriety. I said nothing. I am so tired of love that requires beauty to come first. There was nothing beautiful, beautiful about the embalmed and pudgy face of my uncle, but his daughter still collapsed into condolences. This is how a family is supposed to break for each other. My uncle has been buried for three months now and I've been bidding toward him. Stillness is a dead bird. I am trying to keep moving. Today, I've leased all the life out of my hair and dyed the straw a disappointing fate of blue. My father, he loved my sunny auburn locks enough to curse at barbers for shearing off any more than the frayed end. I am constructing a moat out of ugly. I crush midnight into my skull. I am my own gilded god of pain. Father, wasn't it you who caught my slimy body as I exited the folds of my first home? Wasn't it you who later said I should have stayed there? Too much nastiness for any man to ever bear.